Hello! It's Wednesday. I don't have a meeting, so I'm going to do one of these videos. This video is about moving your project over from one computer to another. If you have a Premiere Pro project that you're working on, you need to work on a different computer. Um, I found that some students have found it difficult managing that project, so I'm going to show you how to manage your project. And if we just go over to the main display here, we can see here's my Premiere Pro project. It's finished, but I want to do some extra work on it, and I can't work on this computer. I need to work on another one. Uh, how do I move that over? Um, I've got a USB stick plugged into my Mac, and I'm just going to check to make sure it's XFAT. So i just click the little uh, magnifying glass at the top here. I'm going to type disk into the search engine, and it comes up with disk utility. Let's just select that. No oh, pops disk utility. And here's my USB stick named PW Drive. Uh, we'll just click on that. And the information says it's XFAT. So that's great. It's empty and it's XFAT. It's got 30 gigs on it. This is going to be good for me. I've got enough space. Uh, if it wasn't XFAT, it might be NTFS or it might be MS DOS or something like that. If there's nothing on it and you don't need to worry about what is on your hard drive, you click, just click Erase, click on the format and choose XFAT there at the bottom and click erase and that will uh, erase everything on the disk uh, but the disk will now be usable between different computers including your PC at home if you have one uh, I think your PC must be above Windows 7 if it's not above Windows 7 you need to talk to me and we'll do some formatting partitions for you uh, have a word with me if that's the case. If it's uh, anything above Windows 7, so it's Windows 8 and above, then it should be fine. XFAT will work on both computer software OSs. So here is Premiere Pro, and I need to ensure that this project uh, is going to be moved over to that Mac. So I'll just check in my documents. Here's my project, just to show you what a nice, neat project will look like. Um, audio, effects, main footage. Okay, it's all there. Um, when we move it over, this is all going to be messed up, but everything will be there, and that's the important point. So don't worry too much about your neatness. Um, the great thing is, if all of your footage is all over your computer, uh, this is going to put it all in one place. So we just go over to the Premiere Pro file menu, and down at the bottom here on File is Project Manager. So as long as my work area bar is exactly what I want uh, and I've got my uh, main timeline selected with the blue highlight around it, this is all going to work. Let's go to Project Manager. What pops this page here? And you can see here I've got this choice of what sequences I want. For that project in particular, I actually have some nested sequences and things like that. Um, if I didn't click these, they would actually still be in the project. They'd be hidden away inside the project. Uh, folder when I open up my new project, but I'm going to click on those anyway just so we have those uh, selected. So when I open my new project, they should be on the timeline as well. So I'll be able to select between my different sequences. Um, notice this box here, we've got resulting projects. So we can either collect files and copy to a new location or consolidate and transcode. Now, if I wanted to do to create a proxy project, uh, if you know what that is, then this is what I would do. Uh, I would select that and click the different formats for the proxies, but if you're not worried about that and you don't need to worry about that if you're doing small projects, uh, just collect files and copy to a new location. Look in the options, it's got exclude unused clips. So I could reduce the size of my project. If I have finished and I don't need any more uh, extra footage to, to put into that timeline, then I could literally exclude those unused clips uh, and it will reduce the overall file size. If I'm still working on my project and uh, I'm not finished, then I would definitely keep that box unchecked. So it will take everything, all the files that I've got, all the footage that I've collected uh, will be carried over. So ensure that you, you know whether or not you want to exclude the unused clips or not exclude the unused clips, okay? Uh, I'm taking everything over, so I'm gonna make sure that that is unticked. Uh, include audio conform files. This is just the renders, so what's happened is uh, the, the computer's conformed the audio so it plays on the system. Uh, I'm going to include those uh, so it makes it easier when we load it up on the computer. Include preview files, well we know what they are. Uh, do you want to include them or not? It's pretty simple. And rename media files to match click names. I always keep that checked. It does result in a, a smoother transition. If, you, if you've gone and renamed all your 
your file names, then fine, leave that unchecked. But most students that I teach don't generally rename their, their clips. We just work on the fly with the clip names that we've got. So keep that checked. Note, note what I've done there. The only real one you need to look at is exclude unused clips. Do you want to reduce your file size, uh, your, your project size, and you're finished with the edit, and all you need is a few handles either side, well, this will do that, but it will not uh, include any clips that you haven't used on your timeline. Uh, think about that one. Most people will leave that unchecked. Generally, most of the time, leave exclude unused clips unchecked. Got it? Destination path. Okay, well, we can browse that. We can tell it where we want to put the new project. So, I'm going to put my new project. Um, I don't know what happened there. Can't go to remote disk. So I can choose PW drive. Uh, we've got the, uh, uh, the destination. It's already created a file structure where it's going to actually put the new version. Um, so that's where I want it to go. Um, we could, of course, put it on our hard drive in a new folder and call it, let's call it Peter New Project. For moving and it's gonna go in there now okay that's where it's obviously gonna go disk space this is quite cool uh, what this does is it tells me how much disk space is available where I'm gonna put it which currently is 28 gigs so if I calculate my size it actually says original project size unknown that's strange normally it would give me um, a, an idea of how big the file is uh, sorry the big the project is it'll take all the uh, the, the footage in the project and calculate a file size. For some reason, it is saying unknown. How unlucky for me. However, I do know that the project size is around about three gigs. Um, so once I click OK, I'll just make sure, just, just to be sure, I'm just going to highlight final output as my main uh, sequence. Hopefully, everything will work. I'm going to click OK. Copying everything over to my USB stick. I'll just take a sip of coffee while that does it. Okay, so that was interesting. What was that? Okay, so regardless of that little save niggle there, you won't see that. I, that's there due to me messing around trying to make this video. Um, I had it saved in a stranger location, that's all that was. So here is the new copied version. Um, we've got everything that is in the actual project in this new folder. Um, and if we double click on that, it brings up the project and it's now driven from the hard drive itself. Everything is exactly the same. I've still got my uh, various uh, sequences. Um, we have our bins, exactly how we laid them out in the project before. Uh, everything is as it should be. However, as you can see, uh, instead of it being nice and neat like the last project was, we have everything all shunted around in different places. Now, obviously, uh, you can quite quickly and easily uh, as we can see, just a oh, new folder, and then I'll just like PC. I'm just going to, for example, grab the main footage like I did in my last uh, project, put that in a, a bin there, and then if we go back to this, it might just jiggle around. There we go. And, oh, it's found it again. Isn't that fantastic? The future. Uh, it's found all my videos that I just put in that new folder, and you can you can go ahead and uh, just replace uh, those organized folders uh, in a way that you see fit. Um, it's quite simple. It's quite easy. It's moved over to this uh, this this USB stick now, and I can go ahead and take that USB stick and put that in a new location. So there we have it. Quite simple. Quite easy very effective, it works uh, very well. If you find that you have trouble doing that, then talk to us. Uh, the last thing we would want is for you to have trouble moving your projects around. It's quite simple, it's quite easy. All right, 
Thanks very much.